is who he is and it has nothing to do with you. Today, I have a specific message that may resonate with some of you. If it feels relevant to your situation, please take what you find helpful, leave what you don't. Let's jump in and see what the cards have to say for you. So, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, dark-headed woman, that's probably you, would be somebody else. And what I'm seeing here is spirit is zooming in on a man in your situation. For many of you, this will be somebody you're in a love relationship with, somebody who's confused you with his inconsistent behaviour. And can you see here, I've put this beautiful purse on my lady. And this is saying that there's little nuggets that you're putting in your purse to try and make sense of the situation. Spirit wants to encourage you in this process. And that's why I'm on your feed today. I felt compelled to share this because Spirit has been watching your efforts. There he is. There's the mail. And you found it incredibly difficult to process his behaviour in this particular situation. I feel that you've been doing significant work to understand and resolve what's been happening. And Spirit wants to encourage you in this process. Now, can you see here these two cards? We've got a Queen of Pentacles and we've got a King of Wands. They're mismatched, but they're a couple. This is telling me whenever you pull cards which are mismatched, it, it means a karmatic or soul connection. And Spirit is focusing on providing you with a totally new perspective in this relationship to help you process further and faster in your understanding. He may view himself in one way, believing he understands and he respects women, but his actions suggest otherwise. This isn't something you're likely to be able to talk through with him directly because you're mismatched and you find it really difficult to have those in-depth conversations, okay? And he's made you feel awkward about that. He's made you feel quite awkward about that. The man in question might have been influenced by other people, by his culture, by his religious beliefs that shape his views on women in a way that he doesn't fully recognise. If this resonates, I'm going to do your initials as well, so go to part two.